Welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple I'm here and today we're taking a look at the B drive from Synology. Now, what is the B drive exactly? So B drive essentially is a hard drive that connects to your computer that allows backup to your computer, to files on your computer, but also to your mobile devices. And the backup on the mobile devices is gonna be over the wireless and I explain how that works here in a little bit. But the real question is, can a device like this replace the need for your iCloud subscription, Google Drive, Dropbox, whatever else you pay a storage fee for? So this video we're going to quickly unbox the b drive from synology we're going to set it up get it tested go through some of the details some of the information that's really important let me know your thoughts in the comment section let's go ahead and jump into it So big shout out to Synology for sending this out for me to test. This comes in two different variances. So uh, there's gonna be a one terabyte and a two terabyte version. So depending on your storage needs, uh, you do have two sizes to work from. The dimension of this is pretty tiny, 65 millimeter by 65 by 15 millimeter, weighs about 43 grams. Interface on this is gonna be USB 3.2 Gen 2, which gives you speeds up to 10 megabits per second. As far as the performance speeds, we should get a little bit over a gig. So as far as the compatibility, let me just break it down. There's two separate applications. There are a desktop application and there is an application or your smartphone. For the B Drive desktop, uh, which the desktop essentially works as a main hub, guys. So you connect to your drive to the desktop. Desktop is then connected to your network. Then it can work as far as syncing your files through the network. So B Drive desktop is compatible with Windows 10, Windows 11, not yet compatible with Mac. So verbiage on that is that it should be coming soon. However, if you're using a mobile application, you do have it for your Apple Store. You can get it for your Google Play Store and you do have the APK you can download. So essentially this is gonna be available for Android and iOS on the mobile application but not on the desktop. As far as the box that it's in, the box is uh, pretty straightforward what you expect from Synology. A cardboard box sent all of their products. I love the simplicity, but does the job. Basically know when you're getting a Synology product. So in the box, you're gonna have a USB-C cord. You're also gonna have a USB-C to A adapter. Now on the adapter, very important is that it does have arrows on the adapter and on the cable that lines up. So if you have the need to plug this into a USB-A, Port, you do have that option. However, if you have a USB-C on your computer, USB-C for the most part is gonna be a little bit faster. You also have the B drive itself and you can just see how small this is, guys. Able to hold it in the palm of my hand, basically it's completely surrounded. So this is a very small product and I, I love the size of it. On the drive, there's a LED, let you know when it's working. But as far as the setup, all you need to do is plug this into your computer. It should pop up. You will see the B drive software that you need to download. Uh, pretty straightforward, double click on that, should start installing it. However, if you don't see it on there, there is a, a link to the website where you can go ahead can go to downloads directly. So once you get it installed, you will need to sign in into your Synology account. Luckily, you already have one. However, if you don't have one yet, you can go ahead and create one. Uh, use your email address, create a password, and you should be set. So here in the application, you can see we have three separate areas. We have the computer backup is gonna take advantage of the fast transfer speeds of the B drive and avoid the privacy concerns because essentially this is gonna be a local backup, nothing over the network. So computer backup can automate the backup of your folders. So after initial setup, the B drive will automatically perform backup. You get to retain up to five versions of each file. So if you delete something from your computer, you can essentially retrieve it from your B drive. This allows you to roll back previous version if an accident happened. The file sync is ideal for hybrid works. So the file syncing feature automatically syncs the latest changes between computers so you can essentially maintain a consistent workflow no matter where you are. So the folder can automatically be kept in sync whenever B drive is plugged into your computer. Again, you can retain up to five versions, roll back preview version if an accident happened, or you can customize syncing preferences, include an option of one-way or two-way syncing, and we'll show you what that looks like here in a little bit. We also have the B drive mobile application, and this is the part I'm more excited about. So with this, you can store your photos and free up your phone uh, without worrying about escalating cloud fees, like I said, with me, I know personally I have iCloud, I have um, Google Drive, and especially Google Drive, that's out of space, I'm not paying anymore. iCloud, that's a monthly charge. So if that works for you, you can 
potentially avoid some of those fees. With this, you can back up photos from up to five mobile devices with the mobile application. For the best results, use the focus backup to keep an application in the foreground. The backup options include HEIF and HEVC Media in JPEG to ensure compatibility. So especially with the Apple users like myself, Apple has this file format that's not compatible with a lot of devices. So this essentially is gonna automatically convert it for you. Also with the mobile transfer, you do get B drop. So B drop basically allows you to seamlessly transfer files and photos from your smartphone to your computer. So with B drop, there's no need to connect the cable. I simply send the file from your mobile phone and they will instantly be available on your computer for you. So um, with this, you can transfer photos, files from your phone to your B drive without any cables quickly share photos of physical work materials. So basically just allows you to send it to your B drive, then it will be available for your computer. Let's go ahead and we'll just test it out a little bit and then we'll get into the mobile application. Um, so let's try the computer backup and then we'll get into some of those options. So click on computer backup, um, click continue. Now it does have the main default folders that you might wanna back up. So from here, you can pick which folder you wanna back up or you can do a custom folder. So if you click on that, um, click next, you can select whatever folder you want. You can see there's a lot more options. So let's just say I wanted to do this option. Um, I wanted to do just my desktop for now. Don't have a lot on here, but I'll, I'll throw some files on there just to see um, how that looks. Let's get rid of music. We're gonna click next. All right, so from now it's gonna back up everything on my desktop. Back up now. So while it's backing up, guys, uh, this is where you'll, you'll get the progress. So um, essentially it's gonna tell you what percentage you have. And like I said, for me, I don't have a lot um, on my desktop, but we'll, we'll play with it just to see how that looks. Okay, so got it. Get more done. So we do have the file sync option and I'll probably just show you a quick overview on this. So if we go to continue, Again, you can choose a default or you can choose a folder. Let's say I choose default, click next. Um, all changes will be synced automatically. So from here, you do have advanced settings. If you click on that, you do get some pretty cool options, which I believe. So you can select the version that you want. So you can only, you can only keep the current version. You can keep up to five different versions. Uh, the sync direction also, let's say you wanted to sync uh, just from your B drive or just from your computer, you do have that option or you can select two way, which I think is probably the best way. Um, exclude file extension. So if you wanna exclude, let's say temporary files, that option is there. I believe this is an PST file, which is syncs with Outlook. So not every file you're gonna to want to, to resync. So you do have that option and you can go ahead and add additional file type. Exclude file exceeding this size. So let's say you don't want the larger files to be synced. Maybe you have some movies on there that's like three gigs that's gonna eat up your space. You can go ahead and put that on there. So if we wanted to put um, one gig, you can go ahead and do so. It's gonna erase it for now, but you do have a lot of options when just selecting which files you wanted to sync. So I think that's pretty cool. Over to the mobile transfer. So let's go ahead and set that up. All right, so again, uh, available for Android as well as iOS. QR code right there will send you to the download for this. And once you download it, you launch the application and you go ahead and hit scan. It's gonna tell you that uh, B Drive would like to access your camera. So it is gonna scan the QR code, just click allow, and then go ahead and scan the QR code. All right, so you can see it, it's automatically detected that B drives at work. All right, so on the phone, now you get to decide what you wanna back up. So you can back up all photos or you can back up new photos. So for me, if I wanted to ditch that iCloud habit, I can go ahead and do so <laughs> if I wanna ditch. I'm just having to pay for um, the Google storage as far as the Google photos, I can go ahead and do so as well. So um, two options here, back up all photos, back up new photos. I'm just gonna go ahead and click select backup all photos and below that's gonna have the backup settings so for ios users very important you want to choose compatible format um so basically converts your files from the iphone format which is i believe is heif or hevc over to jpeg that way it's more compatible when it gets to your computer so i'm going to select that but you can see below that you do have the option for original compatible format as well i'm going to click select now we're gonna go ahead and select folder on the B drive. 
All right, so we're gonna, we either hit custom. So if you hit custom, you can see PC backup. Let's click on that. Main, that's my computer. Let's click on that. So essentially I can select where I want it. So let's say I wanted to put it in triple M. I can either do desktop. Let's say I wanted to put, put it back on the desktop again. I'll go ahead and just select that. All right, so essentially it is gonna back up uh, my photos on my desktop. Go ahead and start backing up. All right, so you can see that it is backing up. Uh, free space is current 931 um, gigabytes. That's on the B drive itself. Drive status is good, so it is doing its thing. So we'll come back when it's all done. So another setting that I'm gonna turn on is focus backup. And this essentially just improves the efficiency, especially when syncing a large amount of photos. So I am on the iPhone right now. It is syncing, as you can see, 3,023 items left. <laughs> um, so uh, to turn this on, I'm gonna just click on the big blue button or the big photo backup area. Click on that. You can see it gives you some settings there, most of them that you have selected, but I uh, want to go ahead and turn on focus backup. All right. Enable focus backups to keep active in the foreground and backup smoothly. So we're going to go ahead and start that. And I'm keeping this alive here. It tells you basically don't lock your screen or exit the app during the focus backup. Connect to the charger and avoid um, battery running out regular backup. So I'm just going to stop it just to get out of there. But um, that's one option you want to go ahead and turn on if really you don't need your phone and you just want to get that completely backed up. You do have some settings in here that we, we chose, but at the bottom, you can see you have the option not to back up videos. I'm going to leave that unchecked. And you do have the option to really skip duplicate files. So if you have files that are the same name, same size same exact file you can go ahead and skip it so here we are everything's backed up and here's the main page so nice little home page just letting you know what's going on let you know the status and let's go through some of these menus so first the home location is going to give you the b drive it's going to give you the storage information so you can see i have 848 gigs free of 931 so that's my backup for my computer most of it is going to be on my iphone and we'll get into that here in a little bit so it tells you what types of files they are so most of the video files i do have some photos um and it it's all color coded, so it looks pretty good. Gives you the status of the drive, and below it gives you the recent activities as well. Now, if you click on the hamburger menu in the top left, you're gonna have your settings, your update, history, help, and just the basic name. So if you click on settings, first thing you'll notice that you can change the name of the drive. Uh, you do have desktop notifications where you can turn on and off. You have the analytics where you can share. And you also have default language. Next, you have the update, so it's gonna update automatically. You have your history, so it tells you what's going on, uh, what was recently added. So that's just some of the stuff that recently backed up um, and gives you a nice little history of what's going on. Um, below that, we have the help and settings. So let's go back home. All right, so next we're going to have our computer backup. So that's going to be the first area right here, essentially. So click on that, tells you the status of it. So backup's complete, tells you the last time it was backed up. And you can still go in here and edit some of those settings. So right now I'm just backing up the stuff on my desktop, but more than likely I'll go ahead and uh, change that out. Just have it more tailored here a little bit later. You can go ahead and pause the backup. And like I said, you do have all the options here where you can go in and edit. You can change the version on uh, how many you're backing up. So you can set it to two. Um, backups or five up to five if you wanted to and you do have all those settings that we talked about a little bit earlier next you have the file sync i didn't set this up as of yet but uh same basic concept guys you can do the default folders or you can choose your custom folders if you click next here you can see you can drop down and you can do a bunch of different things so more than likely where i'm going to be really focusing this um, system on is the mobile backup. So from my iPhone, I was able to go and created a new folder um, called iPhone backup. You can see it right here. And if I click on it, it's basically gonna take me to all my pictures. So let me click on one of them. Hopefully it's nothing crazy. All right, so that was just for the Cybertruck. Um, does have the dates on here. Let's see what this one is, another review. So a bunch of stuff on here, you can sort by date. So uh, let's scroll all the way up. All right, so. Is it an addiction? Some images there. Oh, here's wow, my sweaty. thing. <laughs> so everything's gonna be right here. Of course, you can change how it looks. So you can change it to larger icons. 
or you can go ahead and just put it to the list or details, whatever your preference is. So everything from my iPhone is essentially in this folder. B drop is the folder that we're talking about. And this is the file that I sent a little bit earlier, but it's pretty straightforward. And let me just do another one. So I'm gonna hit the paper plane icon in the bottom. Now it's asking me if I wanted to send a photo file or um, take a picture with my camera. Let's do a photo this time. And this time I'm just gonna do this. It's a fire stick I'm gonna add. And it's pretty much instantaneous, guys. So especially for me, if I'm doing something with my iPhone, it's really hard for me to uh, sometimes transfer video or photos from my iPhone. I got to plug it in and then go through Apple's thousand folders. But with this, I can essentially quickly send it. And when I'm done, I can just right click, click delete it, and then that will be gone. So I think that's pretty awesome. And I do see myself using this a lot. So let me just take another picture. We'll see how that whole process works. So that's my AirPod case. Bam. And let's just take another picture of this guy right here. Bam. And we'll just go to the B drive. You can see automatically once you open the application, it starts transferring those two photos that I just took. Backup sync is completed. You see it on your phone, but also if you go to details here, click on the iPhone backup. Um, there's the first one. This guy right here. Here's the Bam. audio version because it's iPhone. Here's the second one. And like I said, this is this is pretty amazing. And I'm really going to play with this a lot and just see if it's even worth holding on to my Apple um, iCloud subscription or even my Google Drive photo backup. But I'm um, going to keep playing with this. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Do you think this is a replacement for Dropbox, for iCloud, for Google Storage, anything else that you use? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Again, big shout out to Synology for sending this for me to review. I do have another network of test stories that I will be reviewing for them shortly, so stay tuned for that. Uh, for that video, I think I'm going to break it down to different sections just to really um, show you the process of not only unboxing but getting the network attached storage set up and then we can take requests in different um, areas of the NAS that you want to see demonstrated so stay tuned for that uh, drop your thoughts in the comments if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one